Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Just a boring trucker. Boring trucker, that's me. Not a rapist at all. Okay, hey guys, welcome to Life is Strange 2, Episode 4, Part 2. Lots of numbers, I know, but it's not that complicated, so bear with me. Basically, in the last one, we woke up in hospital after Meryl's place exploded, and uh, our eye is fucked and basically gone because I got a shard of glass in it, and uh, we had to endure some questioning, and then we beat up a pretty dumb guard and escaped, who was just one guy sent to guard our hospital room. Uh, and we managed it pretty easily and then somehow a car was luckily open for us and we made our escape So that's where we've led it to now. So yeah looking for our missing brother Daniel and uh, let's see how that goes And so his depth perception has been affected by the loss of the eye, which they kind of pretty coolly demonstrated with the, the whole pen thing. I, I quite like that. But yeah, I, I don't think that's going to be great to kind of learn on the fly while driving. And there you go, we've made it to our second part, and we're just now getting the intro. That's pretty much like a, a regular occurrence, I think, with this series so far. Um, what? There's like a weird set flock of birds, that was kind of cool. Kind of like swirling in the distance, that was kind of weird. So yeah, okay, I guess we're getting to our desert thing like straight away. The animals in this are always like pretty ropey, so it's kind of funny. But that's pretty cool. I think I'd be like super scared to do that in like real life, like drive one of them deserts and just like break down. Nevada, that's where Jacob is, that makes sense then. And it's America, so you have all them like weirdos that, you know, like to trap people and do stuff to them in the desert in the middle of nowhere, especially driving at night, can you imagine that? Well, I bet it's like, I wonder if it's like really cool and nice. I don't know. But you talk about like cool breezes, a lot for this episode somehow. Sorry for that if any of you are against cool breezes, and if you are, then what is wrong with you, man? Cool breezes are cool. Guess this is my room for the night. Shit. I will never hold until Haven Point. So, we're running low on fuel. <sighs> what a mess. <sighs> Flotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. And hitting a fucking guard with a big pole. Guess I'm kinda lucky I stole a smoker's car. 
So we've seen the car, let's look at the owner's stuff. She seems nice. Sorry I stole your car, guys. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. So May 8th, my grandma's birthday, actually, that's interesting. So 8.45, drop off kids. 10, hospital checkup. Noon till 1.30, lunch with hubby. 2 o'clock, Miss Scott's x-ray blood test. 3.30, pick up kids. 5, night shift. Well, there you go. Interesting day. What else we got? We got a map and a backpack. Is that just our backpack or is that hers? This is a long driving session of nothing happening. Ooh, okay. So if we're cleaning the eye, does that mean that we have to like go through each step like he told us in the last one? I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Let's, let's clean the eye. It just might, it'll be like the uh, the Terminator when he has to like configure himself. All right. Or Predator when he's Careful. in the, the bathroom in the second one. And he's like, does he like, crunch, he like crunches up the glass or something like that? I can't remember exactly. Oh, well, we didn't even have to do the steps. That, that would have been fun. So they fucked me out of like a court hearing case. Questioning. Oh, man, I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. And now I don't even get to swab my own eye. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Okay, so we have quite, quite the trip. Okay, and we can't like check it any more than that. Is there anything else to do? I don't want to get attacked. I'm going to get scared if something jumps out. Oh, something up here. I was going to say, surely you'd like lean the seat back, but I guess if you like to have your arm propped up like that, I'm sure you guys have like fell asleep on a coach or a bus or something before, because that, that's kind of comfy actually. Use your arm as a prop. Like them little like stirrup things on them bikes. And then kick. Was it a kick stand? Kick stand. Sure. Whatever. We'll call it that for now. So that was like a weird little intermission thing. Like what did we get from that? We just know that we stole a chick's car and he's not very good at swabbing his eye. Okay, it's another dream. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got board hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. That makes up for when you bullshit me about needing cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss what, hanged out and killed some? So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. Padre y hijo? <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Me too. Who doesn't love road trips? Good to hear. Unless you get car sick and then you feel like By shit. By the way... Boy talk. You feel like you're gonna throw up for What's like three hours. What's going on with hours. that gin, huh? <laughs> I feel like I'm very like random with that. Like sometimes it'll happen, sometimes it won't. I haven't worked it out yet. You know, going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's just... 
I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, <laughs> you are hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. Ah, that's a terrible ringtone. Could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool. Hey, Sean. Don't crash the car. He's driving <gasps> real slow and safe. Like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. Girl <laughs> cannot wait to see you again. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though. How are you really doing? It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Damn, bro. Oh. By the way, <sighs> Hey, wake up! Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh shit, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Oh man, I crashed hard. Oh yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the no. fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out! What if they want to rape me? Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. Oh, boy. Uh... No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said, out! Get, it's not even locked. We're a fucking idiot. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. Uh, I got lost. I just got lost, man. I wasn't sure where I was, so I pulled over. I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. I only have one eye, bro. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. You're meant to be the nice one. Why are you prodding us? Please. I just want to go. Oh, ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. He looks like, um... An uglier version of, like, Shrek when he turns into a human. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Grab it. Take it back. Whoa! You did not! That's it, boy. Ugh! My eye! Get up. Up! We're just gonna be like so fucked up by the end of this. So like an ear missing, one of our legs is hanging off. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? We, oui, monsieur. What? 
What? What? Hablas espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say I'm a dirty thief? Don't do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I ain't gonna be your little bitch, you Shrek looking motherfucker. I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> El Cyclops del Dirty Thiefo. Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh... What did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? I don't know. Told you. Well, that's the only one you should know, boy. Learn it. Oh, that cool. Uh, look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get well, soaked. Lightning Hold on. Even rain. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. He just looks so pathetic. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Okay, let's just sing. It's just sing. They'll have their fun. No one else will ever know this ever happened. So you can't be too embarrassed about it. ¿Dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás. En el cielo y en el mar. <laughs> Jeez, enough! Life. Let the boy finish his song. Go on. Go on. Estrellita, <laughs> ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás. Cuando el sol se ha ido ya. Cuando nada brilla más. Tú nos muestras tu brillar, brillas, brillas <laughs> sin parar. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto, ¿qué serás? <laughs> well, damn! I think you just won Mexican Idol. <laughs> now pick up all your shit and get the fuck out. Don't ever come back. Understand? Yes, yeah, so I was thinking of making this my uh, seasonal residence. Yeah, fuck you, Shrek. That looks so cool. I love light. The voice actor needed to put more, like, emotion into it. It was already just, like, flat. Oh, great. Speaking of flat, look at our fuel tank. <laughs> See, it's just some singing. We got out of that fine. So, yeah, that was an awkward encounter. But we made it out okay. I don't think they stole anything. I think we got our toy back. Our, like, etch -a sketch We're doing fine. We're doing fine. We've lost an eye, we've got a broken nose, we're doing fine. We are still alive. We are looking for our brother, we will do it. So the... The Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks.
Jesus, we're into the whole religious area. Oh. Damn, that's some sunburn right there. And that was the skinniest, fakest snake I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> I still do like how they do like the wet effects in this game. Like sometimes it's kind of too silly. Uh, but like when they're like like that example of him like swaying looks pretty cool, I think. And that is like a great shot. I've said it before, but I love like the cinematography in these. So let's have a look. Where are we? We're just right in the middle of the desert. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Oh my god, he walks like a zombie. Is there anything back this way or will he just turn himself around again? How far over? Can we, can we climb up here? I doubt it. I don't think you'd have the strength to anyway. Let's see how far out we can go. <sighs> Shit, I need a break. The police are looking for me. Whoa! Oh, shit. <sighs> Better stick to the road. Okay, so we've got a good, like, 20 feet from the, the roadside, I guess. <sighs> Saw a nature show about desert rattlesnakes. <sighs> so fuck that way. How far back can we go? There's no real reason to this. I'm just interested. It's like when you see fire in a game and you're like, okay, let's uh, go in it and see if it burns us. And when it does, you're like, oh, cool. And then if it doesn't, then you're like, oh, that's kind of shit. Not a lot of cars around here. But I better stick to the okay, side. Okay, so we'll stick to the side. All right, he gets tired if we run too much. That's cool. So I was like holding the right trigger there. Are you going to move? Okay, there we go. I was like holding the right trigger and it like tied him out. Which, so that's pretty cool. Like it's annoying, but also like... I I can respect it when you have next billboard, and then I can rest a little, right? When they have like st stamina refreshing uh, like animations, because it's annoying because you're like, can I just fucking run to somewhere? Like like them card games where you can't like sprint forever, you have to like stop. I wonder if we're gonna have like a mirage or something because they, they did that in uh, I think it was Assassin's Creed Origins. Hope I'm not running into a trap or something. Because I'm thinking we're going to come across some like little um, kind of out of the way <sighs> yes. shack or like Shade. petrol station. Okay, there's like a shadow that we can kind of rest in. You know, something like in them horror films that you see like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre or... Oh, man. You know, you know what I mean. My feet are killing me. You have like me. the old man who works there, and you have like a kind of like hiking in hell. trucker friend with like the cut off sleeves and the baseball cap and the vest underneath. Is that a vulture? Wait, spaghetti? No way I'm gonna die out here. Just keep on walking. Ah, we have water and we can draw. I guess we'll do both. So let's drink some water first. <sighs> Shit. Ooh, what's all that white stuff? My throat feels like sand. Unless maybe that's just like the... Like as soon as I compliment them on their use of the lighting and the wet stuff, <sighs> then they do that and it looks pretty nasty. Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so... Empty and quiet. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. So we had to ob observe his imagination. I wonder what hell would look like. You have like volcanoes and man, fire and shit. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Okay, anything else to inspect, or is that it? Okay, and he's not even got any more dialogue, so I guess we'll get up.
All right, here we go, the next stretch. They're not gonna make us walk this entire thing. Surely. I mean, I know they made us do that Daniel shitty- Daniel better be okay. Weed cutting. Feels like I haven't seen him thing in years. for a while. What is that? Of is course that I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Are we going to follow it? What was he eating? Was it over here? What is that, like a rabbit? Yeah, it looks like it, or a hare. Shit. Ew, it looks all... This place is freaking me out. Weird. All right, I'm gonna try following it because I'm not sure if that's what it wants us to do. If we're like, oh, snakes. Oh. <sighs> so much dust everywhere. <clears throat> Gotta be extra careful with my eye. That's cool. Hello, it's like a fellow traveler. The tiniest fucking scully I've seen in life was cool. Daniel might dig this. Can we follow it? Okay, no, I guess we're stuck here. 6.9. So, collectible 3. So, we've missed one. But to be fair, that's better than we usually do. Saw a nature show about desert rattlesnakes. So fuck that way. Okay, so stick to the road. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, game. I'll stop uh, raging against the machine, so to speak. Boy, oh boy. Okay, I guess we're just walking. Oh no, he's <sighs> tired again. Is it getting dark or is it just me? <sighs> oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Can we can we go and like try and hail it down? Stop, sir. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. You could have stopped a bit close, <laughs> to be fair. This could get dangerous. He could be one of them like pervy ones. This is exciting and kind of scary at the same time. Truckers can't be cops. Yeah, truckers right. can't be cops. Let, let's let's try and run, I guess. Finish it off. Seeing that log thing reminds me of uh, Final Destination Two. What, what's his uh, thing? Here? Still can't read it. It's the same as that other one. It looks like Resident Evil or something. But you can't really see. Just get ready to run. If he's a freak. Let's see what he wants. It might be a woman. Oh no, it is a guy. Oh, okay, we're just getting in. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Hmm. All right, look, the windows are massive. We can jump out if we need to. Walking ain't doing us any good. Fuck it. Yeah, thanks. Hold he up. does look like a pervert, so he's got that going against him. And he didn't even ask us where we're going. That's not a good sign either. Just get in and we'll fucking go. Hopefully Jesus will save me. This area looks like we could actually kind of like walk around it a bit too. Maybe that's his daughter. Or maybe it'll be like both of us like stand the chairs and you can kind of like look like turn the camera and like talk about things that are like in his van, truck, whatever. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? And our nose has healed up pretty well. I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. 
Happens a lot around here. Does it indeed? Hey, Anton. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> Too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. What is that? You a fucking chair sandwich? No, thank you. Oh. No, thanks. I'm cool. <laughs> You're lost, son. You can survive on like water for ages without eating stuff. As long as we ration it, I guess. We have like 10 millimeters a day. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Straight yeah. ahead, about an hour. An hour, that's good. We're making good headway. I should have said head. Oh, dear. That might be what we have to do for us to let him get us there. Like that cactus with a face. Take a nap if you want. No thanks. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Just a boring trucker. Boring trucker, that's me. Not a rapist at all. I don't have loads of bodies in the back of my truck. If he sleeps, he's got to admit it. All he has to do is wait an hour. He can sleep in someone's porch or something at a shop. All right, how about we call it a day there for part two? Uh, and I guess next time we'll see what this trucker's intentions truly are. Let's see. And uh, yeah, I guess next time we'll find out if we get it to Haven Point safe and sound or whether we do end up waking up with our bums bleeding and our pants around our ankles. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And join me next time for part three where we'll see what happens. Thanks a lot, guys.